Greg Afarian here, and I'm going to show you some of the negative ads that Martha Coakley has been running for U.S. Senate in Massachusetts. I'm Martha Coakley, and I approve this message. Who is Scott Brown, really? A Republican, in lockstep with Washington Republicans. He'll block tougher oversight of Wall Street, give more tax breaks to the wealthiest, oppose new prescription coverage for millions of seniors. Brown even favors letting hospitals deny emergency contraception to rape victims. He lacks understanding and seriousness. In times like these, we can't afford a Republican like Very Scott. Very disturbing. Quite untasteful. Obviously, it's the only way that she feels that she could win. Some of the things that she's been saying are, are absolute lies. She's getting her news from the Boston Globe, who is in the business of hypocrisy. Total hypocrisy. Nothing the Boston Globe says, I would say, is worth reading or anything that you should say that that's what the truth is. Brown has repeatedly opposed a woman's right to choose. And now the Globe says Brown expresses skepticism that climate change is being caused by humans. No wonder Brown's campaign is being supported by the same extremist group that backed Sarah Palin. I mean, this isn't about being political, honestly. This is about life. And the Mass Teachers Association supports her? Are you crazy? The Mass Teachers Association? I'm sick of getting material. My wife is a teacher, and they're for her? They're not for life? They're not, they're not for life, the Mass Teachers Association? They're concerned about a woman's right to choose? And if you have any faith, you believe that life is life. It's not about a choice. You make your choice. You make your choice when that baby is created. And then after that choice, you lose your choice to choose. Sorry. And then this thing about her saying that the Armenian genocide shouldn't be classified as a genocide. The first plan to eliminate and exterminate a certain ethnic group. Are you joking? How dare you? If the goal was, and the mission in Afghanistan was to go in because we believed that the Taliban was giving harbor to terrorists, we supported that, I supported that goal, they're gone. The Taliban is claiming responsibility for a suicide bombing at a base in eastern Afghanistan that killed eight American civilians and one Afghan. That's scary. These types of people have to be, you have to be careful with. She sympathizes terrorists. She wants them treated like you and me. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? As far as I'm concerned, you plan a plot to kill any American on this ground or anywhere, you lose your rights. You have none. What's wrong with this country? Have we gone soft? I mean, seriously, we got to take back. Take back our country from these politicians. We gotta take it back. Every one of us. Just what I'm doing right now, I'm sure that they'd like to take this away. My freedom of speech. Your freedom of speech. The government's job should be to protect us from terrorists. And that should be it. How about that? Think about it. All I care about is my family. That's it. And I'm sure you do too.